See this in your little vlogs, bro. All right, so <laughs> I made it inside already. I had me a little breakfast, but as soon as I walked in, as soon as I walked into the premises, I already knew I wanted to quit. I don't know how yet. I don't know how I'm gonna leave this job. I'm gonna leave it. I'm not gonna come back. I don't know how I'm gonna leave this job. I don't know yet, but I'm not gonna come back once I do. I'm telling you, every single time I walk into that, the smell of quitting is just a stench. That stink. Oh my god. That stink. Alright, <laughs> y'all know I'm gonna rap a little bit, you know I'm gonna rap a little bit. Uh, slight piece, slight piece, slight piece, not too serious. It's another day, another dollar. I've never said that phrase ever in my life. I'm about to clock in, it's like 6 a.m. Actually, I'm here really early. Um, as per usual, I always get here early. Oh my God, I still hate this job. I don't wanna be here at all. <laughs> Yo, it is, it is really, really, it's, it's really crazy how I don't want to be here right now. I worked the other day. Somebody pissed me off at work, and I oh my god, oh I was gonna I was gonna go off on the bro, but I just couldn't because it's just it was not my place. It's not my place to go off on him. Like I don't like working at all. Like if I could, I'd I'd rather be a house husband. Like <laughs> shit. Like I would not work a day in my life if I if I didn't have to. Like if if I knew I would live comfortably, I would never work a day in my life. And that's the crazy part, because. You know how traditionally men are supposed to work and they're supposed to love working. I hate working. I'd rather not work. I'd rather be a house husband. I'd rather, you know, cook, clean and all that joint. I know there's a lot of culture in Howard, especially, where you try to play like you, you try to play like you're you got money. No, I'm broke. Uh, call me Mr. Broke Man because hell the fuck no. I know I do not have the breach. I know I do not have the bread to be saying that I got money because I do not got the money. And a lot of them try to play like they, they're they in the struggle. It's so crazy because it's like you have never struggled a day in your life. A day in your fucking life. But the second that you're around other black folk that, you know, are less fortunate than you are. Then you try to play like you don't got it, but you got it like your parents is paying for half of your tuition or maybe even full your full tuition and then for the people who, who don't got it like that Them are the niggas who Try like they have money, which is crazy cuz why are you trying to play like you got money? Cuz now now you actually don't got money and like you're wasting your money for a second I was one of those niggas because I didn't want to seem like I didn't have anything. I felt like I, I didn't want to be left out. But when I looked around me, and I actually looked like when I actually looked around me, there were so many people who just didn't have it, and I I didn't understand why I had to be the person to feel like I did have it because I didn't. I never had it. Ever since I was a kid, it's always been a struggle for me to really. I never had the money for anything. Like my parents struggled. I like, you know, and consequently I scrolled because you know I'm I'm their child, you know what I'm saying? But like we never had the money to do I'm 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 gonna admit this right now and like this is between me and you, like you can't say like you literally can't tell nobody cause like you you be dead wrong because this is this is I'm telling you this in confidence. Like if you tell somebody like you dead wrong. I've never been on vacation, like an, an actual serious vacation, I've never been on a serious vacation. Like I always see people go on cruises and go to like out the country or like, you know, even in the country. I've never been, I've never been like, I've always been either at home. Actually, I've always been at home during the summer. And when I say at home, I mean like in my city. I, I may be like, I'm summer camp, but summer camp is usually a, like an elementary school. It's not really summer camp. 
or like not the subtle kind you see in the movies. Like I've been out the country, but like that's usually for like family things. Like it wasn't for vacation necessarily. It's more so like somebody passed away, so I have to go to a funeral or like somebody uh like my dad wanted to take us to Haiti once and just to meet family. I wouldn't call that vacation because like it was more like we had to do it. Like you didn't like we didn't want to do it. Like you had to do it. I mean it was fun regardless, but like it's just so hard to think that the rich people want to act poor and the poor people want to act rich because in all cons in all not consequences but in all in all seriousness there it made no sense for us to think like that like we're we're all we all have our own economical wait economical economical ec economic however we all have our own financial background that we need to stick to. And, well, not need to stick to, but we, like, make sure that we understand where we are. Because need to stick to, like, no. Nobody nobody needs to stay poor. That's, just be cognizant of it. Like, you're not, you're not him. Like, you're not him when it comes to money. Don't act like you are. Like, you're gonna, eventually, you'll build and grow to be that in that certain financial, like, background. But at the moment... Especially while you're in college, don't act like you you got money. It just doesn't make sense. I feel like that's really good advice. Especially hey, if you're if you're like about to go to college, that's really good advice. Don't act like you got it, cause that, then your broke ass gonna be stuck asking your parents for a hundred dollars a week, cause you 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 don't know how to eat. <laughs> anyway, moving on from that. Look at this. You see that? Look at. Hold on. I don't know if you. Just, it's not focusing for a real, but you see this new chain? I've decided to change my closet up a little bit. So I'm like trying to find new jewelry shit, you know, new jewelry, new clothes. And, you know, it's all working out. Well, not working out. I still got a lot to buy. I'm j I am just talked about being financially stable, but I'm over here buying new shit. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about my pockets. I know where I'm at financially. But what I'm saying, I want to, like, change out my whole closet. So I'm trying to, like, donate stuff and then, like, buy new stuff. And with the new stuff, I'm trying to get, like, more jewelry. And, like, this piece right here, you can find off of Sheen. I'm probably going to link it here. Hopefully, editing Ricardo remembers to edit it right here. But, yeah, this right here, look. It's so clean. And what? It's like 250 You see, that's what I mean. When you're struggling, you got to find ways. This was like $2.50. Probably not even. Like, bro, you can find... You can find, like... It may be fake. Yes, it may be fake. But guess what? It look cool in here. It look cool in here. I don't got to step in the water with this. I just got to be outside with it. That's all I got to say. But yeah, soon enough, before I go back to Howard, I'm going to have a whole new closet. Nothing I'm, I've worn before will be worn again. This got to be the loudest street. God damn. Boom. Carter, so how does it feel losing to... Junior, nobody lost to you. Nobody Carter, how does it feel losing to... Uh, 16 year old and you're Gina, nobody lost you. you're 22 years old you're 22 is crazy what the f i already know you're not 22 years old how am i you're 19 i'm not you are 19 i'm 18 i'm literally 18 you're 18 yeah i'm 18 i'm count wait you born you're born old three right oh four <laughs> you feel embarrassed don't you <laughs> you feel embarrassed don't you <laughs> <laughs> wait, so you just how wait, Cardo, this makes no sense. I was seventeen. No, this makes a lot of sense. No, because if you born 04, you're supposed to be a year older than us, man. What? I'm confused. What are you talking about? You say you're born 04. Yeah. We're born 05. Yeah. We're turning 17 this year. Uh, uh, <laughs> what is he talking about? <laughs> 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 My camera. My camera. Take it, Negro. 
Bro, 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 what? No photography, fam. The note is videography. No, yeah, that.